high school soccer playoff time again as today I am going to Napa and going to Memorial Stadium to watch a CIF North Coast Section Division 1 quarterfinal match between Vintage Crusher versus Castro Valley Trojans. Now, obviously the host is going to be heavy favorites coming into this game as Vintage Crusher coming into the CIF North Coast Section Division 1 playoff as the fifth seed. And they were able to make it to the quarterfinal after a 1-0 win against James Logan in the first round. But they're playing against a Castro Valley Trojan side that is looking to create another upset in the CIF North Coast Section Division 1 playoff after they upset Redwood in the first round with a 3-2 extra time victory. So yeah, let's see if that is going to happen or will Vintage Crusher potentially move on into the semifinal. Let's go soccer! So we have just arrived here at Memorial Stadium and I believe this is going to be the main entrance. The tickets office is not open so I'm assuming this game is probably free admission. So we have just arrived inside the stadium and right now I think the referee is having a word with the captains of both teams. I wonder what are they exactly having word with? I mean they're not doing the coin toss yet because we still got about 20 minutes before the kickoff of the match but that being said, these are the vintage player doing their pre-game warm-up. And then over there on the other side are the visitor, the Castro Valley Trojan player. Uh, they're just kind of sitting down near the touchline as their head coach just giving some pre-game instruction to those players. And by the way, it seems like both stands tonight for the stadium is open, which is kind of interesting because last time I was here, only the main stand was open. And with how big the stadium is, I'm kind of surprised they actually opened both stands today. But I guess I'll basically be in the away stand here in the first half. And then in the second half, I'll be making my way to the home stand there. So now it looks like both team is actually on the pitch. And we still got about 15 minutes before the advertised kickoff. And it's kind of interesting to see both teamers already on the center circle. But I guess as it is the case with these high school playoff games, you usually see the whole team gets on the center circle and I think in just a bit they're also gonna announce the roster for both of these teams and now it looks like both team is on the pitch and it looks like we're gonna actually start a little bit earlier than the advertised time which is always good to see I mean I always like to see a match starts uh, on time or early rather than later and it seems like we're probably gonna start about four minutes earlier than the advertised time and the referee gets this match underway Castro Valley will be going with their white and black kit, going from left to right. While well, Vintage will be going with all black tonight, going from right to left. As we are underway for the CIF North Coast Section quarterfinal match here in Memorial Stadium in Napa. Oh, and that's a giveaway. And it's hit into the side netting as, well, the Vintage player, they almost stopped thinking that the flag was going to come up. But the linesman never raised his flag and... Well, that is a huge missed opportunity there from the visitor. Vintage has started to get more possession. Oh, that's a great ball. And here comes Vintage. Big opportunity for the opening goal. And it's in the back of the net. And the Crusher takes a 1-0 lead. Well, the home fans celebrate there in the stands as that was a great through ball to his teammate there who went through on goal. And he coolly slots it into the back of the net. And Vintage take a 1-0 lead here, 15 minutes into this game. And about five players right on the edge of the 18-yard box. This one's deliver in. This is a free header, and it is right to the keeper. Well, here comes the Crusher again, and he's able to beat that defender. And that one looks like it's saved by the keeper as, well, it looks like he was in on goal again, but... The keeper makes a big save there to deny him in the front post. It's a decent one. And it is going to be in the back of the net. It's an Olympical goal there from Cashel Valley as the away fan celebrates. And well, that or, well, actually, no, it's not going to be an Olympical goal. I thought it went in, but looks like the referee says... It is just going to be a goal kick, and well, I don't think the goal, the sc scoreboard person realized that. But that being said, here comes Vintage again as that player is bombing on the flank. Here's an early cross, and it is in the back of the net as Vintage Crusher takes a two-nothing lead here. The home fans celebrate there 
on the far side. And after just one minute ago where we fought, Castro Valley looked like they got themselves the equalizer. After one, the player looked like he scored the Olympic goal. And well, now the linesman is basically explaining to the fans here. I'm pretty sure the Castro Valley fans still cannot believe that that did not go in. And again, I gotta go back and replay to see whether or not it, it indeed is the right call. But as of now, Vintage leads it to nothing. Here comes Castro Valley again. Always does a good job dancing around defender and instead he finds the side netting. Here comes Vintage again on the attack. Okay, this game has just been wide open. It's been playing a frantic pace. It's a long driven ball. It's deflected and it is going to be right to the keeper. And well, I think that defender is very fortunate that that one ends up right back to his goalkeeper there because that shot was deflected and post deflection can be very scary and could be a defender nightmare. So that one's clear the way, but it's not all the way clear. It's a long range effort. Somehow find his teammate, and it is saved by the keeper. As well, I don't think that was a intended through ball there, but it kind of worked out, and the keeper had to make a big save there in the front pose. Well, that is the halftime whistle. Halftime here at Memorial High School. It's Vintage Crusher with a two nothing lead over Castro Valley Trojan. So it's halftime here at Memorial Stadium in Napa as I'm now making my traditional walk to the other side of the stadium and at halftime it's Vintage Crusher with a 2 nothing lead over Castro Valley Trojan but the scoreline has not indicated the fact that this has been a very entertaining first half. In fact it was pretty much a track meet in the last 20 minutes. I mean it was back and forth. There's been a lot of chances for both of these teams but so far you know Vintage has been the more clinical side and you know for Castro Valley I do believe that they're still in this game. I mean, they have definitely created some dangerous chance for them to at least score a goal, but you gotta say that they have to be better in terms of their finishing in the second half. They wanna come back from this game. And let's see if that is gonna be the case or will Vintage Crusher potentially get a third or even a fourth goal to really kill this game away. Now it looks like both teams is back on the pitch and in just a bit, we're gonna get ready for the start of this second half. And the referee gets this second half underway. Well, after just an thrilling end to the first half, let's see, we're gonna maybe see another goal here in this one, and especially for Castro Valley, can they find themselves a little bit better in terms of their finishing to get themselves back into this game, or will Vintage Crusher potentially get another one to really put this game out of reach as we are underway again? Oh, and that's a giveaway here, and can Castro Valley capitalize as? The player's looking to try to out muscle his player, and it is in the back of the net. And here we go. It is game That's on again goal. here Great in this Alex North Coast Alka. section quarterfinal game. As well, I talked about how Castro Valley didn't really have a lot of chances here in the second half, and there they are able to be clinical in the finishing of really their first chance of the second half. And like I said, it is game on here. In Memorial Stadium is in Napa as it is 2-1 in favor of Vintage. And if you're Vintage, you gotta be careful here as now this ball is dinked in and it is gonna go wide there as there's a decent half chance there for Vintage to restore their two-goal lead. Ball comes in toward that front pulse. It's dangling in the box. And that's gonna go right back to the quarter taker. It's another one puts in as he hits this one off the volley and it's in the back of the net. Well, Vintage has rescored their two goal lead of an absolute goal. goal. By also, there from that Castro. Vintage player as the fan celebrates here from the home side. And like I said, Vintage has restored their lead of. Just one of the best goal you've ever seen. One of the best volley goal you've ever seen in the Sports Hub series. And they have definitely played well as well. This one is going to be gathered by the keeper. It was definitely on target there. And the goalkeeper had to back up to a point where he was almost on the line to catch that one. Here they come again, looking to try to maybe get number four here. And it is going to go wide as it is going to be a goal kick coming up. Here comes Castro Valley again. And it's a weak effort as that 
is going to be a goal kick. It looked like that player was pulled back. But that is the full-time whistle. Full-time here at Memorial Stadium in Napa. It's the host, Vintage wow, cool. Crusher, it is moving on into the semifinal of the CIF North Coast section playoff as they win 3-1 against Castro Valley Trojans. Well, as you can see, some of the Castro Valley players now heading to their fan, cheering of their traveling supporters. And the same goes for the Vintage Crusher, saluting their fans here as they seen them playing again and move on into the semi-final so it's just finished here at memorial stadium in napa as i'm now back in the car and in the end it's vintage crusher that is moving on into the semi-final of the cif north coast section playoff tournament after getting a 3-1 win over castro valley trojans and you know in the second half things definitely was a little bit much tighter than what we saw in the first half and i think it was by design because you knew that vintage there was no way they're going to continue to play that open game and expect the fact that castro valley can potentially get themselves one or two goals to be in this game and to the trojans credit despite the fact that they didn't create a lot of chances in the second half they did able to get themselves back uh into this game but then that amazing volley golazo that was for from vintage i think that really sank their chances in terms of really make this game interesting but either way hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do make sure you guys you like smash the subscribe button and yeah i of course will see you guys next time with another sports hop series episode